everyone, my name is Maria Desmondi, and this is a vlog series where I video blog about the writing process. I'm a children's book author, and I am taking you from when I get my idea all the way through the process to getting my book on the bookshelf at the bookstore. So last week we talked about ideas, where I get my ideas from, what I do with those ideas. Today we're talking about organization. So backing up a little bit, once you find an idea of a story that you want to write down, I want you to really focus on one moment. The idea should just be one main idea and then you take details to support that main idea. So for example, if you're talking about a vacation, you're not going to want to talk about the plane ride, getting to the hotel, swimming in the pool, getting in the car, driving to the grocery store, coming home. Pick one moment that you really want to expand on. When you take an idea and you organize it properly, it's going to seem like a movie. And when you go to the movie theater, you feel good when you leave. You've seen the movie. You feel complete. If you were to go to the movie theater and you were to sit down for about 15 minutes and then the lights come on and they tell you to leave because it's over, but the story's not over, you would be furious. You would want your money back. And that's because it wasn't complete. The story was not organized from beginning, middle to end. You didn't get to see it all. So when you're writing an idea down and organizing it, you want to remember about beginning, middle, and end. One way you can do that is through graphic organizers. You can also draw out and do a sketch of your idea and label it. That will help you get your thoughts down on paper. Once you've written your story, I want you to read it and really think about it. Okay, is this complete? If someone were to be reading this, like um, going to a movie for entertainment, would they be getting enough out of it or would they want more? And if your answer is that they would want more, then write more. Tell us the complete story. So I'm sitting today in my daughter's playroom and this is a place that a lot of imagination resides. When the girls are doing pretend play, this is an area where anything is possible, and it really is the same with writing. Anything is possible in your writing. It's just a matter of getting it down on paper and rereading it and thinking, hmm, did I give my readers enough information? Did I make it so the audience has enough to read? Next time we're back, we're going to talk about what do you do after your story is down on paper. You can find out more at www.mariadismondi.com on my website. Have a great day, everyone. Get those stories down.